Hello YouTube. I thought I'd do uh, a little video on what it's cost me to build my helicopter. And originally I thought perhaps two and a half thousand might have might have been the build cost, but as most things do, it has escalated. And I do get asked why I built one. And it is a question I ask myself sometimes. But the main reason is because I couldn't afford, say, a Mosquito Air, something like that. That would be around £15,000 if you wanted to go and buy one of those secondhand. Obviously, they don't make them anymore. Um, so, you know, it is cheaper than that. And obviously, building as you go along, you can you can buy things as you go. And it's it doesn't seem so bad, but it, it does add up. So... Here are some of the, the main costs. Um, the aluminium I bought was £1,300. That was all brand new. There was nothing second hand and I didn't always pay the best price for it. So that was £1,300. I could have done a bit better probably. Obviously the more uh, extravagant you go with the type of aluminium, the higher strength and the, the price doubles or quadruples if you go into some really high spec aluminium. Uh, the engine was the biggest saving. If, if you wanted to buy a Rotax or something like that, you could get a second hand one for two and a half grand, maybe something like that. Um, but brand new, they're sort of three, four, five grand. So I bought an outboard engine that was £465 off eBay. And so I have saved a lot of money there. The drive components, £1,500, um, these were quite expensive pulleys I had um, I had made. It was HTD type um, pulleys and they were big. They were 300 odd mil diameter, so it was big chunks of aluminium. And um, that was quite pricey, plus the, the belts of 400 quid. So they, they were pricey too. Um, bearings, 300 quid, um, probably to be expected on that. Um, the blades, 967. Um, the high spec aluminium on that one, that was 330 quid a sheet, um, but that was 2024 20, T3. Um, so that is, as you might expect, expensive. Um, of course, this is four blades because I built a coaxial. So you can buy blades, but you'll be paying an awful lot more than that. Uh, didn't spend an awful lot on steel. Not much steel in a helicopter. You want to try and use lightweight materials whenever you can. Uh, 90 quid on gauges. Seat and seat belts, 100 quid. And a good 200 quid on bolts. Uh, they certainly add up. So the total cost so far is £5,037. And there's still the cooling system to sort out on, on the helicopter. I've got a, a radiator to buy. I've got a sort of belt drive fan. There's a water pump to go in as well and all the yaw controls. So there's still a bit more to spend. Um, so if, if it gets, it's probably going to get near six by the time I finished I would have thought and um, that's still significantly less but there's a, you know, there's a huge amount of man hours that goes into that and I haven't even counted how many man hours has gone in it's um, a tremendous amount but that's a, that's part of learning you know you learn an awful lot by doing this and I have learned a lot so it's not all about the cost and you can go on and build other things perhaps if you are successful and uh, you might have a working helicopter at the end of it. Obviously, if you don't, then you might have a big lump of scrap. Uh, we'll see. I think um, it's got a value if it can fly. Otherwise, it probably is scrap value. So we are taking a bit of a risk. But like I say, it's all about the, uh, the learning experience.